Teams is coming with features all the time and it's difficult to keep track of them and to, to make the most use of them and for delivering training uh, remotely and virtually. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is presenter mode. Uh, this is one of my favorites. And this is to help you with that scenario of presenting something via PowerPoint, but being unable to view your, uh, your learners and your users reactions. Because as we all know, when we're sharing an entire screen, uh, then you're not able to see those attendees and see what's going on. You can maybe, if you have two monitors, see a little picture of one person, but you're unable to get a full overview. But presenter mode fixes this. And the way that we use presenter mode is by going to the share content option here. And typically what most people do and what I do is I'll just grab a window and say that I'm gonna share my entire screen. But in order for you to use presenter mode, you're not going to use any of these options, neither the, uh, the PowerPoint that you might have open, but you need to use this PowerPoint section over here. And what you're first going to see is a number of uh, PowerPoint slides that have already been uploaded to a specific channel or a, a meeting, but you can always browse as well. So if you're, the slide that you're wanting to present isn't here, then if you click on browse, you can upload it from your computer or you can access it within your OneDrive. And we'll just do the OneDrive example where I will grab this learning transformation PowerPoint and say share. And as soon as I do this, the, the people who are attending, in this case, Ross on the other end, they are only seeing the slide, the current slide that I'm presenting. And this is that the presenter view that you might be familiar from, from within PowerPoint. So that gives you access to any notes you might have, gives you also a full overview of what's coming up, giving you the ability to skip ahead to a, a slide that you want to, to present uh, out of order, for instance. But the thing that I like the most about it is that you get the full overview, um, at least within the, the confines of this space, of your users as well as those who have their cameras turned on uh, in order to be able to get an overview of, of yeah, what's what's going on? What are their reaction? How are they engaged? Are they falling asleep? Um, all of those things. So that's it's a simple simple feature, but one that I think is uh, incredibly useful.